And next here tonight, the news about polygamy and whether a man can live with more than one wife. To be clear, it's absolutely illegal in this country to have a marriage license with more than one person at one time. But a big de court decision coming out of Utah seems to say it's okay if you just skip the official piece of paper. ABC Cecilia Vega shows us the issue that has everyone arguing. One husband, four wives, 17 children. We know them as reality TV stars on the hit show Sister Wives. I need flowers for um, my wives. Today, they are unlikely legal crusaders in a fight over the fate of polygamy. I think that anybody should be able to organize their family according to how they choose. Almighty Father, we're grateful for their blessings. It is an epic court battle. Cody Brown and Mary, Janelle, Robin, and Christine against the state of Utah. They maintain theirs is a healthy lifestyle. And we just wanted to show people that we're normal. But that is not how authorities in Utah see it, threatening the Browns with prosecution after they flaunted their plural family on TV. I just want to be a free man. A free man, but what about the women and children? One study concluded polygamy leads to poverty and higher rates of child neglect and abuse. The United Nations calls it a violation of human rights. The Browns say those famous images of convicted pedophile Warren Jeffs and the FLDS, that's not their family or any other polygamist they know. And in December, a federal judge sided with them, declaring a key part of Utah's polygamy law unconstitutional. Cohabitation is legal, so Cody Brown can openly live with all his wives, just as long as there is only one marriage license. Thousands of people living plural marriage in Utah now are, are free. But opponents say there could be unintended consequences. Could this ruling that helps your family and families like yours also be helping believers and followers of Warren Jeffs. I guess what we're hoping is that this ruling would help yeah. help pre create the check and balances that need to exist in societies that are closed now. Right. They've got to be kidding. Lawyer Marcy Hamilton says the ruling actually makes it tougher for authorities to investigate potential abuse. It's very sad that we have a Hollywood polygamist family that has uh, made it harder to protect the women and children in most polygamous families. As Utah's attorney general plans to appeal, the Browns plan to stay in Nevada. Does this feel like home now? No, I don't uh, know. Sweet, I don't think anything other than Utah is going to feel like home. <laughs> These reality stars say they're prepared to go all the way to the Supreme Court. Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Las Vegas.